Hello, Diocese of Fort Wayne South Bend. This is your host, Jacob Schneider, for the Seminarian Slice. And this week we got Seminarian Brian Eisenbarger. Who are you, Brian Eisenbarger? Thanks, Jake. Who am I? I'm a beloved son of God, first and foremost. Wow, great answer. But for those who may not know me, I grew up in New Haven, went to St. John the Baptist in New Haven, and then I moved away for a while. I lived in Carmel, Indiana, went to St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Parish down there. And when I moved back to Fort Wayne, I am from St. John the Baptist on the south side, Fairfield Avenue. Father Andrew Budzinski, the pastor there, also happens to be a vocation director, so poses a, a unique challenge or blessing, depending on how you look at it. And what year are you in formation? I am in my second year of theology, so this is my fourth year total in seminary, and I got uh, two more after this. Okay, so if everything goes well, uh, what are your ordination dates? God willing, I'd be ordained a deacon in the spring of 2021 and a priest in 2022. All right, awesome. And so, Brian, you come today. And you want to talk about sports chaplaincy. Uh, I'd like to talk about my pie first. Oh, let's get to that. <laughs> so I uh, I actually didn't bring a pie here, full disclosure. Um, I'm actually full of pie from the last few days of Thanksgiving. I had two kinds of pies. One was a pecan pie, store-bought. Uh, and then the other one was my mother's homemade butterscotch pie. And uh, my mom's butterscotch pie happens to be my favorite uh, pie of all time. It's got a nice meringue on top. It's got a sweet butterscotch kind of glaze on it. It's best served chilled, which is unusual for pies, I know. Yeah, that's my favorite pie. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a big butterscotch guy. Why not? I'm just the classic pumpkin. That's just where Whip I Whipped cream sit. or no whipped cream? Uh, no whipped cream. Cold pumpkin pie. You're a monster. <laughs> Absolute monster. More whipped cream, the better. So, Brian. Yes, Jacob. Yeah, you want to talk about sports chaplaincy and what that is and uh, the blessing we have. Brian and I are both chaplains. I'm chaplain of the women's softball team over here with seminarian Ben Landrigan, third theology. Uh, but, Brian, who do you uh, chaplain for? And uh, tell us about your experience as a sports chaplain. Yeah, so I, I'm privileged to work with the uh, Mount St. Mary's baseball team. Uh, this is my second year doing it. Last year, I was with the one and only Joe Nepper. Joe Nepper, if you're listening to this, we miss you and we love you. And uh, yeah, no, it's been wonderful to get back on the field. So when I was in college, I used to play baseball. So it kind of brings back some old memories there. And then I coached baseball for a while. So it's really just good to be around the game. And of all the things we do out here, the most interesting thing with the sports chaplaincy program is that we're with these guys week to week, uh, semester to semester, and, and year to year. So in a lot of ways, it really is kind of a, being a pastor, so to speak, for a, a little flock. So that poses its unique challenges, but also its unique blessings. And um, yeah, for instance, I had a guy the other night, hasn't been to confession since he was nine years old. And uh, through some prodding and some uh, positive encouragement, he came back to the Sacrament of Reconciliation for the first time since he was, I think, nine years old or something, he told me. Gosh, that's amazing. So praise God. And it's just those little things. We do have a, a weekly Bible study uh, where we meet with the guys. So some of the guys will come to that. But more importantly, uh, we also just have lunch with the guys, uh, just talk about how their life's doing. And we're just there as a resource to continually bring them back to an encounter with Christ. So it really is an incredible privilege and experience. And of course, like going to their games, seeing them in action is is definitely a fun part of it too. Yeah, I would say it's quite a blessing to be a chaplain. I've been blessed to go to lunch, to get to know these girls one-on-one, -on -one, and you get to see where they're at in their lives. And you meet a lot of people who just aren't Catholic. Mm -hmm. So what's your approach with those who just aren't Catholic or know the faith that well? I think the first thing we do always is build a relationship, build a friendship, because without trust, there's no opportunity to even go anywhere towards the faith uh, because they're looking for a credible witness. If this Christianity thing is real, if Jesus Christ means something, then I have to be a credible witness to that. So I think that's the first thing. We just build a, a relationship of trust. And a lot of times there's a certain joy that they will see coming from us, especially seminarians. It's really funny the baseball guys, I joke with them a lot. You know, they live their college life and Everybody always thinks the college kids have the most fun, 
but I would venture to say that we as seminarians actually have a lot more fun. Uh, <laughs> and I think they see that and uh, they want to be part of that. And the reason we have more fun is because our hearts are given over to joy itself, to Jesus. So just kind of inviting them into that love, into that joy is really kind of the first step. And then it's, you know, the catechetical things will come later, but uh, it really starts in friendship. And if, if you look at Jesus, I mean, that's how it, he did it with Peter and Andrew. He just said, come follow me. And they built their relationship. And it wasn't until later he, he gave them the Sermon on the Mount and, you know, some of the more teaching things. Yeah, it's quite a blessing to walk with somebody uh, through faith. Maybe no faith at all. Uh, maybe they're Christian. Maybe they're Catholic. But to get there. I had one guy this year. He was a uh, he was a Sikh. So he comes from a Sikh family. He's from Canada. And he's been coming to our Bible studies and uh, just wanting to know. Uh, and that good curiosity comes out because Jesus ultimately demands an answer. And so hopefully we can help in that way. Well, Brian, thank you for sharing. Is there anything else you'd like to tell the good people of Redeemer Radio? I would just like to say thank you to all the wonderful people back home. I can't wait to be a priest for you. We thank you for your prayers and all of your support. It's always so good to come home. We just got back from Thanksgiving and it's always just good to be home. And uh, got a lot of good guys here out at the Mount uh, and also down in Saint Brute in Indianapolis. And we also got a few guys out in Rome. And uh, we just hope to be good and holy priests for you. And to God, all the glory may be. Mm, beautiful. Amen. Amen. All right. This is Jake Schneider and Brian Eisenbarger signing off at the Mount. We'll see you next time. Peace.